hi there. This is Rarugu and today I want to talk to you about uh, Season 23, Diablo 3, which started uh, last Friday. It's been um, a blast so far. Um, I think it's Tuesday now, isn't it? The 6th? Yes, it is Tuesday. April 6th. Uh, the season started April 2nd. And um, I've been playing it quite a bit. I have completed the season journey. Uh, and when I was deciding which class to choose to play, um, I was going between wizard and a barbarian or a crusader those were those were the three um choices i mean i could i mean the main class um this season i'm going to be playing as every class but the starter class um the choice fell on the barbarian largely because uh the waste set was the starting set uh it's pretty cool and I um, I haven't played a Barbarian in a while. There are a few classes that I haven't played in, in a long time. That would be a Barbarian, a Wizard, um, and uh, I'd say a Demon Hunter. Barbarian, Wizard, Demon Hunter, and Monk. Those are the four that I haven't played. So this time around, it's the Monk that is the class... Oh, uh, the Barbarian that is the class of choice. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because uh, this season we had a change um, for our followers. Patch 2.7.0 enabled you to fully equip your, equip your follower. And this change um, brought about tremendous bonuses to solo play this is uh what i have here is not an optimal setup but it's it's workable and i like it i still need to tweak it a little bit um such as i have to recraft a few a few items to match the attributes on the items um so if you look at the skill for example uh, temporal Pulse, it says the Enchantress casts a guided orb that deals 150% weapon damage as arcane to enemies within 15 yards and slows them by 80% for 4.41 seconds based on the Enchantress's intelligence. This is something that is important to note. Now the skills on your follower are based on what their main um, attribute is. And in order for your follower to function optimally, you need to find or re-roll, re-craft um, an item. Uh, that matches the attribute of that mercenary. And in this case, I'm using Enchantress. Well, just because I feel like it, you know, it, it might seem, you know, why are you using Enchantress where you could be using um Cormac the um Templar I just feel like it you know so haven't haven't worried too much about it now what I would like to mention again I do have a video which I will link at the end where I describe in detail about how it works uh there is a feature uh, about how the mercenaries work. There's a feature called Emanate now, which basically adds uh, certain properties to your character, to your overall build. Um, mercenaries can use a Ring of Royal Grandeur, so you can emanate Sage's uh, journey, and you can also emanate Kane's Destiny set. Um, the mo some of the most useful items are uh, Gloves of Worship, Flavor of Time, and Nemesis Bracers. When you have that equipped, you're basically mm, freed up from the need to 
use those items in arena don't interrupt me um to use those items in your character slots or in the cube because in the cube otherwise you would in the items in your cube you would use them to um power yourself up to go into a harder content essentially and um because you can use gloves of worship there are some interesting things you can do um so this uh, barbarian here is a waste uh some new things for you to take a look at. waste set barbarian uh, this is um rafts of the waste set uh and i want to demonstrate how fun it is to play with the new mercenary setup um if you decide to play solo um disclaimer the this particular build that i have here is extremely risky um it is focused on surviving through band of might so on torment 16 if i do not repeatedly cast leap uh, i likely get one shot but if I cast leap appropriately, I have no issue. I could, I absolutely could equip more survivability such as mantle of channeling and I would have no issue. But this specific build is focused on speed. I have, um, oh, one moment here. Yes, I have, um, whirlwind with gain one fury enemy per uh, per enemy struck i went fully into uh buffing the damage my passives are berserker rage brawler rampage and ruthless i certainly could put on nerves of steel but because the follower now has a cheat death passive, it gives you a lot more, um, a lot more opportunity to be frisky, shall we say. So, Torment 16 typically would start with um, going into not the cow level and getting the buffs from the shrines so we start off the level by running around uh, getting ourselves some steak although I I do not eat meat I try to stay away from it in this case it is unavoidable and as you can see it's pretty easy we get a lot of materials and the barbarian is just wrecking everything Not ready yet. it is really really fun once you get up to like full speed it's really really entertaining The cows are dropping. So is the loot. Alright. Let's keep looting. Oh, protective shrine. Protective shrine is nice.
bracers. Still recharging. You wilt against my blows. Make sure we don't go into the explosions. Not ready yet. Time to get moving! Alright, let's get moving. Let's get moving and let's get grooving. Need more time. As you can see, I grow in power. Torment 16 poses. little problem whoops oh come on don't want to be rude to my clan mate <sighs> because season is still fresh uh, many people don't have any gear and the health is appreciated. Oh, is that a triple legendary out of a single chest? Need more time. You will well, that is certainly welcome. Barbarian has this um, built-in um, benefit because it's a strength based uh, melee class bovine bardish drops uh, more frequently for a barbarian than it does for let's say a demon hunter so you you can find bovine bardishes quite often all right let's wrap up not the cow level And looks like we're good. So, this is the starting starting bit. Right? You begin your game, still recharging. You get your pools of reflection to ensure that you get more experience. This is very useful. And now, because Irena, or any follower, can have Gloves of Worship equipped, um, your shrines that you picked up, they last for 10 minutes. That is a very, very long time. And uh, you can use that time to basically start running rifts if you want to uh, yield the benefit of all of the shrines and at first from not the cow level and after that hmm interesting you can basically start grinding uh, start grinding a regular rift so let's go ahead and go into a Torment 16 Rift just to show how quickly and easily it can be done. Ah, we got a goblin. Whoa! I got procced. Not ready yet. I got procced just now. As I said, if you don't have your um, Band of Might active, you're in for a surprise. Maybe it was the damage reflect that did it. But if you if you don't have any spice in your gameplay, what's the point? And 
and off we go. You wilt against my blows. Um, the reason why I use leap instead of furious charge is because I think leap provides a lot more uh, mobility options. I think leap is much more versatile than the furious charge. Uh, plus the 150% um, increase, temporary increase in armor is a um, welcome benefit. Just make sure that when you when you see the enemies, you cast your um, you, you cast the skill that activates the Band of Might. Whichever one you choose, whether it's a Ground Stomp, or Leap, or Furious Charge, make sure you activate it. Otherwise, you might lose your, um, lose your stacks. I think you you probably can be able to or you probably are able to build something similar with every class as far as the speed goes because I uh, yesterday I've seen some very speedy very very speedy demon hunter he was almost keeping up with me And there it is. Look at all them Greater Rift Keystones. And that is thanks to the um, Kane's Destiny set and the Sage's Ribbon, like the Death Breath and the Greater Rift Keys. Uh, they drop at a very high rate, and uh, it is a new feature in 2.7.0. So if you are the kind of player that enjoys... Would be proud. ...that enjoys um, solo play, now is the time. Season 23, Diablo 3 is really really fun and um, I think that if, if you like RPGs and you like those types of games then you should definitely um, you should definitely give it a look so this was my um, this was my little demonstration of the barbarian in season 23 and what benefits the mercenaries give you if you uh click the like button on the video i would appreciate it um because that will help the youtube algorithm to potentially recommend that video to others and they might get exposed to it and also get back into the game start playing a little bit more um if you would like to watch me play live i stream on twitch.tv forward slash rarugu and um, if you want help, I will definitely help you level, get to level 70. I am working on um, leveling up every single class to level 70 so that it is viable. So if uh, you come in and you want to get leveled, it does not matter which class you choose. I will select the same class to mirror what you're doing and help you gear up um so yeah i hope you like this and uh, i hope that uh, we'll see each other uh, in the sanctuary good luck have fun and um, take care